Hello everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Thanks for tuning in to a video from me. I'm back after a short little break um, due to ill health. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all my lovely subscribers that have messaged me and sent me well wishes um, to both me and my husband. We both had um, COVID really badly. So thank you, that has been a real blessing. Um, but yes, I am feeling a lot better than I was. Hubby's much better now as well. Um, it just, with my um, health issues, it takes me a lot longer to feel better. But I'm on the mend and I really, really wanted to get back into my craft room. Saying that, I somehow seem to have misplaced my crafting mojo. I've had a look for it here, but I, I've been struggling with it. Um, so today's Fabric Friday video is going to be the first of my seasonal Fabric Fridays. Um, I'm calling them seasonal because I um, did a poll um, a few weeks back um, asking you guys whether you like Christmas, whether you like winter, a bit of both. Um, or you're not interested in it and you just want to see normal crafting here on my channel over the next couple of months. And very surprisingly, um, the clear winner was winter. Um, so I'm going to do a mixture of, 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 of all of them because although I like to... I do celebrate Christmas. It's very much a natural Christmas for me. Um, it's all the poinsettias. It's the, um, like what I've got on the fabric here, what you see in nature, which is the lovely holly berries um, and the fir trees and little animals and stuff. I love that kind of thing. So I'm going to do a mixture of both on the channel and I definitely want to do some lovely winter things. I'm just trying to find some winter fabric. Can you believe every time you type in winter fabric, you get all these colours, which are um, traditionally sold as Christmas ones. So I will be doing some def definitely doing some winter ones. I did find this one here. This was in a fat quarter pack from Hobbycraft. It's got skates on it. So that I think is going to make a lovely um, vintage um, journal um, or go in with a lovely vintage journal. So I thought I would start by making some journal covers. Now, in order to try and find my mojo, I thought I'm just going to sort through my fabrics, see how I go. Um, usually always inspires me something like um, sorting through things, having a bit of a tidy up, faffing around in the craft room, so to speak. Um, often will spark off some creativity so I ironed opened up all my fat quarters and ironed them they're still a bit creased um, because normally I don't tend to iron my fabric but I thought no I will do and what I've actually done is I've hung them up on a hanger you usually get these for skirts or jeans or something um, and these can hang nicely just to the side of me here. Um, and then I can flick through them as and when um, I'm making stuff. So that's what I did. And then with them open like this, I was like, oh, I could get a lovely journal cover out of here. And then that would leave that space for something else and stuff. So that's what I want to do first. When I get a piece of fabric like this, I look at it and think well the biggest thing i'm going to need to make from it is a journal cover so um how much does that leave me obviously you're gonna have a strip here but you're gonna have a big expanse here which would be probably nice some of this would be lovely for some slow stitching projects um as well as like a fabric flip um that kind of thing maybe even a nice little pocket but by taking out this section I know then what I've got to play with. So that's what I want to do today is to make up some journal covers. These are um, my standard size, which is similar to an A4 envelope here in the UK. I'll just give you the dimensions that I use. They are 23 centimetres by 32 and a half centimetres or in inches. It's about nine and one eighth of an inch that way and then it's 12 and three quarter inches that way um, it just fits nicely um, an A4 page so that when I'm doing my journals um, this is about the maximum size paper I would put in gives me chance to put some ruffles and some lovely bits on the edge of it as well so that's 
that's my journal size and I'm just, I just use because um, I've run out of the um, repurposing the envelopes so I've just got some craft card cut to this side size but what I wanted to do was repurpose this lovely big Amazon packaging now I've already opened up one side and I think I could probably get four out of this um so yeah and i just thought that's gonna sound really really nice under the material so let's move our material out of the way and just rehang that back up to the side of me and first thing i want to do is open this up so how's everybody doing i hope you've all been well um i know there's been so many of you that have come down with this um with covid this time round um so i do hope you guys are all doing well okay so that's a nice yeah that edge is fine there we might need to do a little bit of trimming okay i'm just going to turn my board that way so i can use my ruler to come down here i think what i might do is just mark it as well Right, okay. Okay, so let's come in with my ruler and knife, I think might be the easiest one. I'm going to try and see if we're on a line. We're not, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna. So yeah, I have been um, struggling with my crafting mojo, just not really sure what to do. I've got quite a lot of unfinished projects, which um, I do have a habit of starting things and not finishing them. That's a bad trait of mine. Um, but uh, I just haven't been inspired. I don't. I don't know. I've been watching some YouTubers, um, trying to find you know some inspiration from them, and I just yeah, I've been really struggling, which I think happens to a lot of us when um, we've been ill and we've been out of our craft room for quite some time. Um, we can struggle to get back into the swing of things, and to be honest, I know I was quite nervous to it. Um, doing a thinking of doing a video and it's like you've done so many you've been on this channel for over a year now <laughs> you shouldn't be nervous uh, but uh yeah i was wondering if i cut them off is that going to open it up it might not be too bad we're going to be folding fabric over it anyway so that will be fine So it's a lovely and sunny day here today. It's cool, but it is nice and sunny. And uh, yeah, I am filming this ahead, but only a few days ahead. So uh, that just, uh, yeah, lets me, right, yes, that's fine. It does open a little bit there, but obviously we're going to be folding the fabric over. So how is that? pretty much the same size excellent okay so that's one um let's do i think i want to do the same again do i want to keep these i don't think so i have enough <laughs> let's just pull that back out what have we got there that'll be fine let's just can move these to the side again i don't want to turn it back around got a big and big desk here or it's a table a dining room table size um, as my desk and I and nothing on it other than my bin um, and this light fixture and my coaster for a cuppa and I still struggle sometimes with the size of the um, desk <laughs> um, right first things first we need to draw around this one don't we so let's line it up roughly okay this 
and then I'm thinking I've, I know I've got two different coloured holly material in that um, um, from Fat Quarters that's hanging up and I think they would be nice to do one traditional Christmas journal and then the other one could be a lovely seasonal one um, because for me there is a crossover um, with a seasonal time of year and um, Christmas um, colourings and things so I want to try and do um, both for you guys right so now we just need to do our little side bits off and then we can get to our fabrics so I do have ideas I looked at my notebook um, the other day for different makes that I want to do um, like we've done over the months we've done like fabric flowers and with autumn I did all the lovely leaves pumpkins mushrooms things like that I would like to do some um, seasonal decoration bits like that as well um, but also um, I don't have a lot of pre-made fabric um, seasonal stuff so we will be doing some pockets fabric flips ruffles that kind of thing um, in our seasonal um, material okay so that's these two yep both that same size ready for our lovely journal cover okay so I don't need this really yet that on my pencil I don't think I'm going to use the scissors I think I'm going to use this so what I want to do is grab out my fabric bring this back in now this one definitely would be a journal cover but I haven't got anything in mind for that at the moment so I'm going to leave that one that's upside down but that's it's because I've hung them all by the salvage edge, um, so if there is any marks, then it doesn't um, really matter too much. Okay, that one. I definitely want to do a winter journal with this one, um, but I just need to have a look through and see if um, what vintage kind of skating things I've got to go with it. But that's definitely a cover. Um, I was thinking yes because I haven't yet bought myself Joey Cardmaker's um, um, Christmas kit this year and I really wanted to do that um, so I might that one I was thinking would go with it because this is done like a Victorian um, Christmas it's absolutely beautiful um, yeah I think that one would make nice pockets I like this one but I think it's too busy as a journal cover um, I think it would be much nicer as little pockets and things. However, this one is quite busy, excuse me, but I'm just thinking as a journal cover, you would then have like a topper on here and that, and I think that would be nice. So that's the one I want to go for. And then there is one that's identical to it, but in green. And what I thought was doing with the green one would be my seasonal, non-Christmas um, seasonal journal um, and then this one will be my Christmas journal um, and then we'll come to I mean it's possible that I could do that one as the um, winter because it's got elements of blue so you could have it's possible isn't it using the three that come from the Christmas pack or as it was sold as a Christmas pack but are three types of things that you would get for this year that might be quite nice actually okay so I do want um, another one of these but let's get out my fabric uh, as I said they're all all pinned in here so I can just um, okay so we want one two and three bring you back one 
two and three fold you back and then they should fall out yes lovely let's just readjust this and then they can hang back up next to me and then here's our three that we're going to do as covers okay so i need to cut another one of these don't i back up there and uh, I need my pencil back so oh, I'm going to need everything that I put away I'm going to need back again never mind um, and this and then we can get these three covers done and then we can make some bits to go in them as well. Like some flips to go with it, um, that sort of thing. So there's our three. Let's let's grab this one first. Right, that's the salvage edge. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything with that, so I think I'm going to use this as the edge that I fold over it. So I want to leave just a little bit of space. all around it just like that I think so I want to basically come along here and this is where I'm going to be cutting just enough to fold over I'm not measuring how much I'm just eyeballing this at probably about an inch looking at this Let's pull that down and carry on along here. Oh, there we go. Oops, it didn't uh, quite cut it. There we go. So that can be re-hung up and just lay it up the back there. Then we want to do about the same on here. I think it didn't. It's probably because I'm sitting down doing this. scrap okay so this is going to be our first one now I just want to see is that going to show through hold it up to the light it's not but what I am going to do is have this on the inside um, because whatever bit of fabric that I decide to put on the inside um, uh, 
although I'm just normally I put I'm just see my brain's not really in gear today because normally I would do this folding over technique which you have seen before I've done this um, in previous videos folding it up you would then put another one on here but I'm thinking that's going to be too thick so I'm just wondering if I need to put something on this first or do I put some card on here just so, so that the you have some card all the way around on the inside um yeah i think i might do that so in which case we can go ahead and glue this down now i'm struggling to get fabri-tac glue um i put it on my amazon basket and had it as a um, subscribe and save offer and i just can't seem to um get it regularly um, so I'm a bit low on it. So I'm just going to use this glue to hold it in place. And then I'll use Fabri-Tac glue um, around the edges. This is my um, Elmer's um, glue, which is a nice glue to use. I do enjoy using it. Okay, so we roughly just kind of centre that. That just holds that in place. Then I'm going to come in and miter the corners. Now this is where I will use my Fabri-Tac glue. go around and finish it off afterwards any little flappy bits like that I tend to just um... <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me I'm still struggling with a um, cough and sinuses especially um, in the morning and the evening that's still what's hanging around finishing touches of any little glue in there like and then I've got some Christmas um, and seasonal themed um, scrapbooking card. I think that would be nice on the inside of here. It would give it a bit more structure as well. Thank you. 
lovely. Oh, that sounds nice. That does. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. We're going to get a nice, lovely journal topper on there. Okay, so that's number one. How am I doing for time? Oh, 25 minutes. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so number two was the lovely green, which is going to be the seasonal one. And again, I think I'll use, because the salvage edge on this one is white. The other one was red on it. Okay. So that's about enough to fold over. And we do an inch on this side. I'm just going to stand up for this so that I don't. lovely okay so again I'll have this side flush up against the material be enough to do like a fabric page if we um, put it um, backed it with some other material I'm just looking at these and thinking that might be nice okay so we want to do our little corners now I think okay
that. final edge I'll probably put um, little metal corners on these as well as I've mitered the corners. I just like to do that. I just think it finishes the it finishes it off. There. So that is our non-Christmas seasonal one. Oh, that's going to look so lovely. I actually think I've got a kit that I think is going to go lovely with that one. That is. Um, just winter, wintry, not wintry as in icy blue, but wintry as in um, traditional colours and, and everything, foresty kind of thing. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got our two things. We just need to work on the centre and what we're doing on there. How's the time doing? Um, yeah, I was going to keep this one at about half an hour, um, this video. So we've got those two done and then I'm going to do exactly the same off camera to this one, which will be our lovely frosty winter um, one um, and get this one covered. And then um, next week um, we will, I'm not, not sure actually, to be honest, not 100% sure, but we're just going to be carrying on with our lovely seasonal makes for this time of year. So thank you very much for tuning in to today's video and bearing with me while I um, had to take a short little break for health reasons. Um, and thank you again for all your lovely well wishes. It, it means the world to me. So thank you very much. Happy crafting, everybody. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next week. Bye.